Hey friends, Pastor Chris with today's Gold Nugget from God's Word. We're going to pick up in Revelation chapter number 7 today. And um, I'm calling this message a multitude from the great tribulation. And here's what it reads, verse 1. After these things, now we know six seals have been opened. After these things I saw four angels standing at the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, on the sea, or on any tree. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living God. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was granted to harm the earth and the sea, saying, Do not harm the earth, the sea, or the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our God on their foreheads. Now, what we have here, first of all, is the Lord is telling these angels, he said, I want you to hold back your the wrath that you're about to pour out. Remember, six seals have been opened. When the seventh seal is opened, then we're going to have the trumpets of God blowing judgment. We're going to have the bowls of God being poured out on the earth. And by the end of all of that, we're going to have total destruction of both the earth and the universe. And so the Lord is, like I said, six seals have been opened. Then we have this little pause in here where the Lord is saying, wait. And he said, do not harm, verse 3, do not harm the earth, the sea, the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our God on their foreheads. And I heard the number of those who were sealed, 144,000, of all the tribes of the children of Israel were sealed. And he goes through and he lists in verses 5 through 8 those different tribes, 12,000 from each tribe. I'm not going to read through all those because some of the names of those tribes are a little difficult to pronounce and I probably would butcher it a little bit. But there's going to be those tribes, 12,000 from each tribe. That equals 144,000. Now, when I did this study before, I was grouping that all together, saying that that is symbolic of all of those that have been saved during this time period that were sealed by God. And the reason I had said that is because what John says in verse 9, because in verse 9, John says, After these things I looked, and behold, a great multitude, which no one could number, of all nations, tribes, peoples, and tongues, standing before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes, with palm branches in their hands, crying out with a loud voice, saying, Salvation belongs to our God who sits on the throne and to the Lamb. Now, John, when he says that, when he sees it, remember John is the one that is there with the angel. He's on the Isle of Patmos, but he's seeing this vision of things being opened up. And so in seeing those visions opened up, the angel is saying that there's 144,000, that he, he hears that. John said, I heard the number of those who were sealed, 144,000. But then in verse number 9, he said, I looked. It was a great multitude which no one could number. So I do believe that, that those tribes, those 12,000 from each tribe of Israel, that could be literal, that there were 12. 144,000 Jews that are saved, and they have a very special job during the time of tribulation that's going on in the earth, and their job is going to be to be those who are out there preaching, those that are going to be out there witnessing and, and sharing the Word of God because they've turned their back on the Lord Jesus Christ for so long. Uh, Jews do believe in God, but a lot of Jews do not believe in in Jesus Christ as the Messiah. And so a lot of Jews are still looking for the return of, of God. And, and so they're looking for that. And so they don't believe that Jesus is that person. Um, that's the reason we have some groups out there right now called Jews for Jesus. Uh, they are Jews that have been saved. But here during this time, we're going to see 144,000 that are going to turn to the Lord and they're going to become people that have a special job at that time and that's to go out and share 
the word of Jesus Christ. But then when we see John say, after these things I looked and behold a great multitude which no one could number, that would mean that John is seeing not only the 144,000, he's seeing this great multitude of other people. That would be Gentile people. That would be people from, he said it here, people from all nations, tribes, tongues, standing before the throne of the Lamb. And then we see that they're clothed in white robes. So we have 144,000, and then we have the mass number of Gentile people. You and I would fall under that category. If you're not considered Jew, then you're the opposite of that. You're Gentile. And so you and I and everybody else on the earth at that time, we are there, and we're given a white robe which symbolizes that purity, that innocence that is in the Lord, that we've been washed white as snow, as that old uh, Southern Gospel song says. And then he says that he hears crying with a loud voice saying, Salvation belongs to our God who sits on the throne and to the Lamb. Verse 11 says, All the angels stood around the throne and the elders and the four living creatures and fell on their faces before the throne and they worshipped God. And here's what they were saying. Can you imagine this mass number of, of, of people there and they're saying, Amen, which means so be it. Blessing and glory and wisdom, thanksgiving and honor and power and might be to our God forever and ever. Amen. So be it. Then one of the elders answered, saying to me, Who are these arrayed in white robes and where did they come from? And I said to him, Sir, you know. So he said to me, These are the ones who come out of the great tribulation washed their robes, and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Therefore they are before the throne of God and serve Him day and night in His temple. And He who sits on the throne will dwell among them. They shall neither hunger any more nor thirst any more. The sun shall not strike them nor any heat. For the Lamb who is in the midst of the throne will shepherd them and lead them to living fountains of waters, and God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. If that doesn't get you excited, I don't know what will. That's the Lord saying here that he's coming back and he's going to save his people. He's going to put his seal upon them. And because of that seal being upon us, we do not have to face judgment of God because we're rescued. We're saved from that. Praise the Lord for it. So, that is Revelation chapter 7. It's talking about the sealed of Israel, the 144,000. It's talking about that multitude of the great tribulation and then giving us those, those last things there that we see that the Lord uh, says they'll never hunger anymore nor thirst. No sun will strike them. No heat. The lambs in the midst of the throne is going to wipe away every tear. Amen, amen. Well, let's pray. Father, thank you, Lord, for this study on Revelation chapter 7 today. Father, I pray that you would keep my brothers and sisters in Christ safe, Lord, in this messed up world we're living in right now, Lord, knowing that our hope is in Jesus and that there's a better day coming. Father, we look forward to that day when you return and take us home to be with you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God bless you. Have a fantastic day.